Father will bless you, teach us your word in the name of Jesus. Um, this is Rema, part 8. Um, there are certain people that will never be blessed by our ministration, no matter how powerful it is, until they can relate with our scars. Show them how you disobeyed, how you went astray, and how the love of God found you. When the Lord takes you to the palace, don't act like you were born there. Let the people know that the Lord brought you up from the pit. You know, stop trying to act like you are a superstar. Don't be too smart to hide the dealings and the doings of God from the people. When you show the people your scars, you will take the eyes of the people away from you and they will begin to focus on the Lord who has helped you. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Um, this this was my jotting from um, Apostle Romeo Sai. If you have a weakness in the area of sex, the cure to it is not marriage. Marriage is good, but the cure to sexual weakness is the cross. If you have unusual and an abnormal sexual appetite, the cross is the cure and not just marriage. Many were fornicators before marriage and after marriage, they still continue and now they even do it more. No sin will be overcome until the sinner is able to relate with the sacrifices of Jesus on the cross. Faith makes way for possibility, not smoothness. The journey may be rough, but if your faith is in you know, if your faith in God is unshakable, victory will definitely become a possibility. Through faith, you know, you know, if your faith in God is unshakable, victory will definitely become a possibility. So faith does not guarantee smoothness. It only guarantees victory. Faith gives us an assurance of victory, not an assurance of smoothness. The journey may be rough, but with faith, victory is guaranteed. Everyone must ensure that they keep their thoughts pure especially those who are you know those who are dreamers the moment you allow the devil to 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 you know to if it, the moment you allow the devil's inputs the devil's impurity to stay longer in you then your dream will constantly be hijacked by demons so so suddenly you will discover that Demons are the ones giving you what to dream about. There are some people when they have dreams, it is just clear that that dream is not from God because the content of the dream has nothing to do with the Spirit of God. In such case, what it means is that demons have hijacked your dream. And the, 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 the easiest way for demons to hijack our dreams is when we allow impure thoughts to dominate our heart. If you must get dreams that is from the throne of God, then you must learn how to meditate. You must think about scriptures. You must think scriptures and begin to meditate on it. When your thoughts are pure, it will be easy for God to, to channel his revelations through your dreams. At this point, your dreams can no longer guide you in the right way because it has been hijacked by strange spirits. If you walk right with God, your discernment will increase and you will easily dictate the devil. So, by dictating the devil, you will be able to prevent his thoughts from gaining entrance into your heart and as you do so, you will be purifying your dreams. So, when your thoughts are pure, your dreams will be pure. We must pray in tongues because when we pray in tongues, we are praying in the Spirit. And God hears every prayer that is prayed according to the Spirit. When we speak in tongues, when we speak in tongues, you know, it is not sensual. So that's why 
speaking in tongues does not make sense to you know to to the normal human being because even you that you are saying it you don't understand what you are saying the realm of tongues is beyond the realm of understanding that's why you don't know what you are saying but you can't deny you are you are saying something the worst enemy of faith is the senses it doesn't have to make sense to you but what is important is that it is coming from the spirit of god so these are my judgments from pastor john anosike when you pray in tongues you are in a direct communications you are in a direct communication with god who is a spirit when you pray in tongues you build up your faith building up your faith is a dimension that opens up to you as you speak in tongues jude chapter 1 verse 20 the catalyst to get everything faith can give is to learn to pray in tongues because that is how to build your faith and make it alive to cause a change when you pray in the spirit you are praying in the will of god romans 8:26 to 27 you can never pray wrong when you pray in the spirit it is the responsibility of the spirit to give us utterance and it is our responsibility to speak it out it may not make sense to you because it is not sensual or spiritual it doesn't need to correspond to your psychology what matters is that it is coming from the spirit of god the gift of the holy ghost is for you if you have not spoken it it therefore implies that you have refused to embrace something that is yours act chapter 2 verse 39 god made the universe through his word which is jesus this shows that creation was done in the name of jesus that is why we pray in the name of jesus it's one of the reasons we pray in the name of jesus because he is the code of creation that's one of the cogent reasons the name of Jesus was given to us as a crucial tool, you know, as a crucial tool for prayer. Many people want to live life without being opposed. They want everybody to like them and they always want to have their way. They are ready to kill everything that brings discomfort to them. Know this. God cannot lift you if you are not in the pit. Joseph's journey to greatness started from the pit. If you are not ready to go to the pit, God may never lift you. Je Jesus, the King of Kings, didn't step heads from a wealthy family. He was not even born by a king. He needed to, to step so low so that God can bring him up very high. When God wanted to promote joseph he made Potiphar's wife to accuse him so so his promotion came through accusation after being accused he didn't leave the house angrily he stayed there until Potiphar made his final decision may the lord give us grace for patience in the name of jesus this is the wisdom of god don't sell it we'll continue in the next part